Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Untitled. Uh, today we're going to be talking about good stuff, but first, the screen backdrop has got to go. It's It was temporary at first, and now it's kind of getting annoying, but um, I'm working on getting another backdrop, so it's probably going to take me the rest of this season. But today we're going to be talking about bottles that you have duplicates of, and you need to live on your shelves, otherwise you can't live without them. So that's it. That's all the title is for today. So uh, grab a bottle or two that you like, and join us forever. Oh, I feel bad for you, man. You can never hear it. Love the intro. That's right. But, and I still uh, hear that music on Here's to hoping Walter excellent. changes or gives me some music to then put on the intro. Yes, I know I need to do that. I told you. I've been working on Brains it. Brains of the uh, Operation is tired week. right now, sadly. But um, You've really never seen the video where it's like, fire the missiles, and she's like, but I am late tired. And he's like, take a nap, and then fire the missiles. You've really never seen that? No. And it's such like a classic video from I want to say like 2000. I bet you if you show it to me, I'd be like, "Oh, I remember that." Or maybe, yeah. But yeah, guys. Um, sadly, um, the Scotch girl is uh tired this week. Um, so she said, uh, you know, the show must go on, and uh, you have sadly us to. So there you go. But yeah, it's back uh, to the classic. Yeah, this show is recorded on uh, March 2nd, 2021. Trying to do this so that if we do a podcast down the road, at least you guys have that you know trigger of when it was recorded. Yeah. Welcome to episode 476, filmed like, March 2nd, 2027. I wish it was We're that many. The future. But uh, you know how it is. But uh, since it's a whiskey show, my friend. Where is the brains of glass? this operation today? That's a fantastic question. Uh, and you're right. I do have whiskey in my glass. You already saw it for my post. Uh, I saved it till now. It's the Johnny Walker Black 2049, which is actually on my list today. Awesome. Um, for me, it's also on my list, and it is a bottle that I'm glad that I did take a second of. Bubbler 1990. No, I actually took. I looked at that bottle, looked at it three or four times, but I said mm -hmm, you probably mm -hmm, pick that one. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is uh, Westland's Cast 3786, which is in a port cast. Oh, you have two of those. Yeah, I was lucky enough to snag a second. I had to nice. beg and plead for my friend to sell me his second bottle. So. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Like, I wasn't sure how good it was going to be. And then when I tasted it, I was like, I need the second bottle. Check the ciliary there like... closed. And then my friend was like, hey, I was, I went up there, picked some up. Do you need an extra? I'm like, yes, please. Yeah. That's the worst feeling in the world when you get a bottle and you can't get a second. So I actually made two lists today. I made the one list of the ones that I have definitely had duplicates of and the one that I want duplicates of but can never get um, because it's impossible. Before we jump into that, did you pick up any oh, bottles this week? I did. I picked up four, but I'm only going to show you – I picked up five, but I'm only going to show you three because one is black coffee crack and rum, which is amazing. It pours like black ink, and it tastes like black coffee and rum. It's so sweet, but it's so good. And the other is uh, – a Buffalo Trace 375. I've just never seen one, so I picked it up. Um, but the other three bottles. Yeah. Uh, the first one is the square one that I took a picture of on Monday. It is Grey Wolf, made locally here in Maryland. Yeah, it was an um, interesting bottle. Yeah, it's, it looks like a perfume bottle, right? It's a 375. They have a 750 that's like, it just looks like a taller perfume bottle. Yeah. So I'm not going to grab one because it tastes like, you know, you know what it tastes like. It tastes like rye. Um second one I grabbed is actually from Australia. I've never seen it on a shelf, and I saw it, and then I was like, let me just grab it real quick. So it's called Twofold, Double Grain Australian Whiskey, made in Melbourne. Melbourne is what I'd say, but I think they just say Melbourne. Melbourne. And yeah, the third weird. one I grabbed is super weird. Oh, Pitchfork and Rabble, Rabble, Rabble. Oh, I, I like a Pitchfork. The third bottle that I grabbed of the five that I'm not going to talk about is uh, Presidential Dram. So this isn't the regular Presidential Dram. This is actually a single barrel pick. Okay. That's five years old, even though the front says aged at least four years. I don't understand how this works. And then on the back, if you're into making fun of bourbon people, it does have a nice tater sticker. Okay. So, Doing it's the presidential stuff. election in Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, no, Christian. I was very sad that I wasn't sticker. invited to that because I definitely wanted to try that. And I thought maybe Wally got a bottle for photos, but I guess he just bought it because it was off a whim. 
No, I saw it in a store, so I just bought it. Is there a campaign going on for it? Yeah, so uh, I know tonight's Poison Jazz is going to be doing a tasting with their brand ambassador. Um, Star Wars oh, seems to be— How come I'm not on that one, but he invited me to this? Yeah, I know. So um, with Star Wars, they're actually one of the first uh, Australian whiskeys that are pushing outside, so a lot more Correct. visibility, which is I've great. actually heard of them. So. Yeah. So, um, you know, excited to see. I think there was like four expressions, too, that they got the tasting of. Um, sadly, they only had sample bottles and not full bottles, which is always hard for somebody that takes photos. Correct. Like, how do we take photos of a sample bottle? But I'm not saying that you should, but I'm just saying you should just ask for a bottle. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, no, um, I think, yeah, Christian, I think a group, a lot of group from the Whiskey Wednesdays are going to do it. And plus with Whiskey Wednesdays, if you have not done your bracket, um, make sure to uh too, sadly too late but make sure to um join his uh brackets um you get some freebies for just doing a um march madness style bracket which is kind of fun um he did not like my drawing of the names on my stuff so he actually edited my bracket <laughs> so um i'm excited um, i'm not the type of person like uh, christian here that will sell his soul to make sure he wins again but whatever christian says do the reverse of and you should be fine so. Is he actually selling his soul, or do you? I think he is because uh, he's been posting it a lot. Sell. Every time he's losing, he's uh, asking other his followers to uh, like the bottle that he chose. So, oh, it's that kind of a bracket. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So Trying to stack the deck. Yep. I wish I'd seen the post because I would go and vote for his too. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just Christian fun. Win com. And I think uh, you get like a championship ring or something, or a, and a bottle or something like that. Is so. it a real ring? Yeah, it's like actual ring. Like a like is a it, ring. Is it a ring for a different body part, or is it like an? No, it's like ring? a big gaudy ring. Weird. I saw a chat and there was like no video, so I left and came back and here you are. Magic. Oh, that's weird because I've seen the chat go away and the video stay, but I've never seen the video go away and the chat stay. Weird. That's creepy. Weird. But yeah, no. Um, it's Get it, it looks, together, Twitch. It looks like fun. Whiskey uh, dot Wednesdays with an S is the person that does these brackets. He does them once every couple of months. You get some Wait, is he bottles. the guy who has the trademark on Whiskey Wednesdays? That is correct. With yeah. an S. It's time to buy whiskey Wednesdays crypto and then sell it to me. Boom. There you go. Um, and then on that note, without any other things we need to talk about. Wait, you have to ask Christian and Ben if they bought any new bottles this week. Ben, Christian. Drew, I know you're there. Do you guys get any new? It was just a wait. Oh, that's weird. It weird. Maybe it just lagged for you. Um, but I'm checking the, the stream right here on my screen. It looks good. So good so far. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that follow button. You will get a notification right above Walter's head. And subscribe gives us, um, I think it's like 250 a month. Or if you have Amazon Prime, please feel free to use it. Um, I only need to make a link. So then you guys click it and then Amazon Prime connects. And then you give us 250 Awesome. And then an animation happens. Yeah, a fun animation. I just got freaked out. I thought I was a spider. But yeah, um, so Christian's leading off with the Kavalan Solus Port and the Benrayak 12-year-old Smoky. Ooh. Interesting. I would agree on the Solus Port. I think the Solus Port's okay. It's, I and it, it's I like think the, the biggest reason why is because okay. I can't get it. It's like not readily ab available. So I'll probably drink it like maybe once every three years. Solus Finish Sherry it. good. Solus Amontillado. Yeah. Solus Vino Barrique. So, um, well, let's let's start us off, man. What what bottle do you have that you have multiples of? Let's let's talk right, about should, that first. Should I go through this whole list? I no, really no, want we'll, to. We'll, we'll go we'll go multiples of, and then we we'll go things that we wish we had more of. I think that's oh, can we here. just do those first? The things we wish we had more of. Okay, yeah, sure. We can go. All right, because I, I only have three bottles on that list. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. Yes. Okay, so I bottles that I wish I had more of. Uh, definitely, these are going to sound crazy to everybody, but I never trust, had a trust me on this one. Victor's 10 2019, not 2020, not 2018, not 2017. 2019, for whatever reason, Vanilla Bomb, the rest of them. So that's last, not... last year's, right? So basically released around 2018, 2019. Correct. The rest have not yep. been as magic as that one. The 2019 is That's Pam's. Magic. I think that's still Pam's one. Because they send me one every year for some reason. Yeah. Yes. People. Um, why? McAllen 12 Grand Reserva, which is one that I spent $350 on to get shipped over mm -hmm. uh, auction, which doesn't exist anymore. I don't ever see them come up in auction, and I desperately want another one to save wow, for, I don't know, okay. super special occasion because it's incredible. And then another bottle, the only one of the 30 years that I wanted to buy a duplicate of that I didn't buy a duplicate of. Um, 
would be the, no, I have a duplicate of Island Park now. Is the uh, Balvenny thirty, which I do not have a duplicate of, but it is fantastic. I wish I could get it for six and a quarter again. Honestly, yeah. that's what happens, man. Right? Um, for me, um, it's a lot of it's oh singles. I'm listening. Yeah, so a lot of it's single cast. So, um, the hard part about having a large ish collection of whiskey is the fact that. Um, as you know, you can't always go to back to certain bottles or, hey, I bought this bottle because I knew it's limited or um, I won't be able to get it again. I'll open it next week, a week after that or so on. And then once you try those bottles, you're like, I wish I bought two of these. So I don't know about you guys, but like I've had problem. I've had times where like I buy one because I just want to try it. I wait a couple of weeks. I drink it and I'm like, oh, I really need this bottle. And then it's sold out. So yeah, uh, one of these was the McCarthy's um, uh, Malt Whiskey Library Cognac Finish. Um, I saw this bottle or talked about during a live stream from the Scotch Test Dummies. I reached out to their brand ambassador, uh, purchased a bottle because it was like one of those speakeasy things where you have to ask the person. There you are. See, Pete's saying hi to you, Wally. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, it was you have to ask them behind like hey can i get this bottle because it it's basically for members um and then basically left it aside opened it two weeks later and then called them and said they sold out and i'm not saying that it helped push but like i did send people to be like hey you should try this bottle i guess a lot of people bought it and uh and it was limited to 300 and it's all gone so i've been nursing this bottle as you can see, and that's the hard part. It's like I enjoy it, but every time I try to reach out for it, I'm like, uh, probably not now. Yeah, that's the worst. Then two so, bottles. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, I I went to go see if I could find my. I have a '60s bottle of Johnny Walker Red also, and it tastes amazing. But I mean, like, I it just got oh, we just opened it two years ago, but I can't find it. I know it's on the shelf in this room, but I can't find it. Yeah. Um, this is one bottle that thanks to all your support on Patreon and um YouTube. I was able Ooh. to purchase this bottle, the Highland Park 15, that me and Wally went over. Um, I was sad that we couldn't get a, I couldn't get a second. I know we were lucky that we had someone on tour that didn't want their second bottle. So I know you got a second. But yeah. this is definitely a bottle that I wish I could have pitch, picked a second from. We couldn't even taste this, so it was after the fact that we were able to try it. You bought off the win because you knew, like, hey, I just want to have a memorable thing. I'm going to take a photo of this. You, and You know the craziest part, right? You have that bottle on your list. No, I, uh, after sharing that bottle with some friends, oh, you gave I that actually, one. Yeah. I actually gave it away. Yeah, you did. I mean, I have the second one that's unopened, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I actually gave the, I gave the first one away. And then the bottle that I think you took a picture of last week was the Bal Blair that we got. Yes. And yes. it is, it is good. I think and I like it a bit more because it. of the fact that it was, it brings you back, mem bring back memories of when we went. Yeah. I personally wished it was more of a I think it was like a sherry cast than this is the bourbon ex bourbon cast. Ex bourbon. But um the memories just make me wish I got an extra one, which I think we could have, right? It wasn't like limited, so Yeah, it wasn't limited. I bought two. Yeah. I bought the, three, one was for Steve, but I bought two. The only problem I had was the room in my suitcase after a while. Because I think that's yeah. one thing I, I, I need to learn more is Orkney will sell you a suitcase. But um, trying to get another suitcase into back into the U.S. is hard because I think you lost your luggage that time. Uh, yeah. No, and I couldn't have gotten my back if I lost my luggage too. So, yeah. Those are my three that I wished I had backups for. That I know I can't get anymore. Man, what is with my internet connection right now? What's up? Your your streams working perfectly fine. You're not breaking up or anything. Is it? Oh, cause I like. You are perk. You're golden. Hey Cody, what's, what's up? up, Dram dude? What's up, Don't worry about. Don't what's up? I yeah, you're saying it's golden, but on my end, man, like it is. You look perfect, and all that matters and... is the uh, the recording right now. Man, because it sucks on my end, because the res looks bad and every ah uh, whatever. All right, uh, that's a good oh, we'll keep, uh, question. We, keep on for cocktails. That... we can do that on another on yeah, another episode. topic. Yeah, but I, mean... I literally will use anything for cocktails, old fashioned Manhattan. Well, you will. I have stuff like, just for cocktails, but I'm taking a picture of it... that now. I'll make sure we have that later. Like, it doesn't matter to me. When I got my McAllen Reflection, like, the third day of owning it, I cracked it and threw it in a cocktail. Like, I, I, I know I'm going to do it with my number six and make an old-fashioned. Like, yeah. it, it doesn't matter to me. 
Uh, ben, Third yes, partner sadly, in crime is tired. Go. She's tired. She was tired today. I guess a lot of things at work, which which makes sense. So, uh, sadly, you got us two uh, weirdos today. Yep. That's all you get. Bianca is lay tired. All right. So, now bottles that we have backups for, since I think right, that's a longer to, list you for to, you. You want me to start this party? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, McAllen 18, pre-97. I'll start that with the first bottle, because that is like... I only got one for 200, and I spent 700 for... No, I bought two for 200, and I spent 700 for two more recently. So Yeah, man, that's it's crazy, but if you cheaper, love something, you love but something. But they actually taste that much better than the regular. But the regular is already $300 now, too, so... I don't think it matters anymore. No, I doubt it. Um, you don't, you're not gonna pop your bottle up. You're not gonna show off the bottle. No, no. No, I didn't actually bring all the bottles for these because my list was too big. I'd have like 20 bottles here, easy. Damn. All right, for me, it's something that I still have in the box because I have been too hesitant to open another one because of how things are going. And now with the recent talk of Japanese whiskey, a lot of people are talking about it again. It is the Hibiki 12. Um, I was lucky enough. Th- three no four years ago to go to um a total wine that had a case and got them for 90 dollars which i thought was crazy pricing until i look at the secondary pricing right now so i remember buying this bottle at about 60 bucks the secondary pricing is insane right now. and then i paid 90 retail and i'm i'm wishing i bought another case so but it is a bottle that i love this is the one um whiskey that my wife knows by name that is my favorite so it is definitely what ben you've never seen it oh, i literally have a 12 right here on my shelf i could grab it right now yeah, i'm like <laughs> i'm sorry bro but then I again 12, like 17 in the room when when they won awards which is uh, when the Habiki 12 won an award like that thing just went crazy because it was so so cheap right 60 bucks everyone's like winning awards bam it's like the henry mckenna yeah. Everyone started buying it, even though it was a different batch. That was a single barrel, and it was horrible. Like, all the rest were not as good. It's yeah, good. Christian, I think they have – the peated one is, is fine, the Hakushu 12. It just – I feel as though that there's so many components to Hibiki that I don't know when we're going to see it again. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't know. Never say ever, but – Next yeah. month. I hope he's right. Yeah. Oh, in Japan. Yeah, yeah. but, yeah, uh, I didn't put Hibiki 21 on my list, but it's kind of funny that I didn't because I definitely have gone through two bottles of that, and then I have a That's third a- bottle sitting here, but it's not mine, but I kind of want to buy it from the person who I'm holding it for, so. Just buy it. Just I, don't, still, I don't know still. what to do with my life. It's family. It's fine. <laughs> so, uh, but the next one I put down, uh, McAllen Cast Strength. I bought six, mm-hmm. and I'm down to two. I thought I was down to one, but then rummaging through my bottles, I found one. So I have two, and I'm going to crack one this year. There you go. It's going to no. be exciting. Yeah, no, like, definitely with these with these bottles that we're going to be talking about, like, a lot of them are, like, your favorites, your go-tos, the things that you drink more than one occasion, which I think that's the reason why you have backups for it, right? Like, you've already tasted what it is. There mm-hmm. are some bottles that I bought on a whim – two of because i couldn't get them like i have a lot 40 cast strength that i bought two of right off the bat even though i didn't taste it then i was like yeah if i do like it if not then i can always either resell it or give it to somebody so yeah um to jump off the japanese stuff for a little bit um this is one bottle that i have a duplicate of and i'm not saying this is the best whiskey in the world. a lot of people don't talk about how like oh this is stupid but this bottle has always had a place in my heart and it is uh, Johnny Blue. So I've always had a backup of this I, just because of how expensive it's now become. This used to be a $100 bottle that I always had. This was like my premium whiskey. But this is like the one of the first whiskeys that I ever shared with my dad. Um, he always used to ask me to bring him back a bottle when I was traveling. And then we shared it. And uh, yeah, no, like I always have to have this. It's just sentimental value. Um, it is not the best whiskey in the world. But it's something that just brings back memories, and it's good. So, and it's it's only 170 bucks now, so it's not like it's yeah. terrible. But yeah, so I have this one, and then the, you might see it up there is the Filipino edition. But yeah, and then when this one goes away, I'm gonna buy another one no matter what. So, no, oh, I have two of the year of the pigs for my nephews being born. I got the year of the cock for fun because I was born that year. I mean, I've got a regular bottle, so 
I don't know. I'm all over the place with JWB. Yeah. That's actually one I enjoy, and I didn't even put on my list, but it's one that I enjoy, like, and I just don't think about. I, yeah, I think it's because, like, we know it's going to be there, Um, even though there's huge differences. Like, the one I have right now is definitely vanilla, but then yeah. other people get a smokier version or, you know, so that kind of stuff. So this one's pre... This is pre-2000s. So... I think this is pre-2000s yeah i have an old one that was early 2000s and it definitely tastes like french vanilla ice cream with a little earth as yeah. opposed to like the current one tastes like log of lumen actually <laughs> if not then it's definitely before 2010 um charles any significance to the folded american flag uh that is my um father-in-law's flag that when we buried him buried him in arlington it's a flag that you never want to have but honored to have so Very, very proud of that, and that's why it's in the back of the list. Uh, yeah, what's uh, what's your bottle, my friend? Lymphitic 19, Age of Discovery, Bourbon Cast Reserve. Um, really? I mean, that over the other ones, too? Say what? You actually like that over, I think it was like Madeira? What was, there's one more. Um, and the red red wine cast. Yeah, red wine. So that, yeah, out of those I've tried three. tried them all. Very proud, very proud. Yeah, I've tried them all. BCR is just what does it for me. I mean, I... Because uh, I, I remember that bottle sitting on shelves, too. Yeah, I don't understand why. Yeah. Probably because the price was one hundred seventy dollars, but now that they're sure. only ninety nine bucks at Costco in Miami, I just bought three more. So yeah, I'm just eight. surprised that there was, like, how, when was that? That was uh, two thousand and ten. No, twelve. They came out with that whole series. I won't know, like two thousand fifteen. No, it was, no, way. it was yeah, it was recent. You sure? Yeah, I bet you it was five six years ago, no doubt. Because I was still ordering from Master Malt at the time. Sorry, I thought it was earlier than that. Oh man, 2013. Is it really? Yeah, 2013. Yeah, I, I knew it was close to that. I got married around that that year, so I remember trying to buy. A I bubble. didn't know it was that far back. I don't remember even seeing them then. Yeah. No, but I um, I'm still searching for that Madeira cask. I enjoyed that, but I don't think I want to pay those crazy prices. I don't know the I bourbon mean, was. One seventy was steep, but to me that was worth it. Yeah. But at ninety nine dollars, it just didn't make any and sense to buy less. Sadly, I don't remember how good it tastes. I just remember it was decent. Um, yeah. and I think I picked the Hibiki twelve. Oh no, no, the Hibiki and the Yamazaki twelve over that bottle because I think that's what I picked. Oh, that's funny to me. Those are com- all three of those are completely different. Different bottles. Profiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I think it was because of the fact that I, I heard rumors of um, the the competition wins and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, let me let me get maybe get into this. I've never tried this before. Let me try it. Um, the next one, which is, I think is always a gamble. Um, I, I do love our friends over at the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, but picking bottles and you want to buy duplicates off is very hard with those kind of things. Cause you know, casts. It's impossible. And, That's going to be US. <laughs> yeah. So I was lucky enough that, um, I was, I got a bottle of red diesel and I picked the second one. So I actually have a backup for this bottle. That's almost done. Um, I, I was lucky enough to try it at events when events were normal. And sadly, I don't know when events will come back into the full force of what it was. Once I'm still, half of us get vaccinated. I'm still sad that um, I won't not be able to share whiskey with friends again. Be like, hey, try this when I've already drank out of the glass. Yeah. Um, but uh, very excited that I got a second bottle of this. Another bottle I wanted to have was the uh, barbecue and fishnets. Sadly, I was not able to get that. But... Um, yeah, it's always hit or miss, you know. Like sometimes you like you really love a bottle at Scotchman Whiskey Society, and sometimes you're like, eh, I'm glad I only got one. So there's that bottle. Investing in whiskeys. Um. So, how do you feel about that? Uh, just talking about Ben's question real quick. Using whiskeys as investments. I mean, everybody already knows I, I drink hey, like all of my whiskey, so that's not a question. But using it for yeah, trades all day long i would use it for trades all day long like i didn't know that mictors 10 is going for like 350 dollars a bottle right now which is just absolute silliness yeah i think but, um i, I traded mean, I'd use it for trades in a heartbeat i traded b tax to pay for flights to go to scotland and, and stuff um i mean you sold me a handy mm-hmm. um i think i did sell a japanese whiskey at the time uh, maybe hibiki 12 but most of the time, it's like, I don't want to sell them, but I know that it's better than it just sitting on a shelf. 
Like, I still have a couple more bottles of Hibiki, and I know I'm going to go through them, but, like, when will I go through them, right? It's kind of the hard yeah. part. Um, all right. What, um, are you up or I'm up? Who's up? Sorry. Uh, I just did the Glenfiddich one, so you're up. I'm up? Oh, no. I oh, no, no, no. You did the one after Glenfiddich. Yeah. Um, Wilderness Trail Rye. I don't know how many bottles of it I bought, which is really crazy. That's true. That's true. It's only crazy. 60 bucks a bottle, and I'm pretty sure I bought, like, a lot. Like, uh, an embarrassing number. What is it for you? Like, what what makes it such a big bottle? Flavor. It's flavor? Like, the flavor is so good. It's, like, the sweetest rye and ever. isn't it batched as well? It's so good. Yeah, it, so it is batched, but I haven't had bad batches, which is fantastic. And it's single barrel to top it all off. So it's even more of a pain in the butt to make sure you get the same flavor. But yeah. they're so consistent, it's it's ridiculous. And, yeah, Delmarva's right. Like, sometimes you do get disappointed by a second bottle of the same whiskey. But... I mean, actually, my first experience was that was, was way early in my whiskey adventure with Filibuster. Um, they had released a bunch of different batches, and I went out and bought a couple for friends. And then when I tasted theirs, I was like, this is garbage. And I was like, the only batch that was good was the first one I bought. Mm-hmm. And that started a fight with me and them, and uh, we don't talk anymore. But they just got in trouble for, like, dumping chemicals in rivers. So, Karma. You know, um, with it, <laughs> the barrel of bourbon that I bought, I bought a second one after I tried it. And then I noticed that after the first one was cracked, that eventually the Nutella flavor started go- de- depleting. So mm-hmm. now I'm like, crap. So it's basically a neck pour. Yeah, I mean, when you sent oxidation. it to me, it didn't taste like that at all. Yeah. And I was like, all right, this is something that I'm going to have to keep for a while and enjoy like the neck pour and that's it. <laughs> so I, I yeah. totally get you there. Um, Next one on my shelf is something that I'm glad that it's a staple. Holy shit, this cork's going to break. Um, <laughs> I just looked at it now. I'm like, it's dusty too. Um, it is my favorite Belvini 21 Portwood. I'm glad wow. this is a staple. This is something I'm always going to have a shelf. I do not have a second bottle, but I know I can get one anytime. And the price yeah, hasn't been fluctuating. Sales for, sales for like 180 Yeah, so I am... You know... Go ahead. Oh, you disappeared. You left. Where did he go? Oh, there he goes. What are you doing, computer? What happened? You disappeared. I told you. My computer's been acting weird like this entire show, and I don't know why. But yeah, so here's the 21. So now, why you put up the 21? I was gonna say like the 21. If I was gonna replace something in, like in my collection for Balvenie besides the 30, it wouldn't be the 21. Honestly, it um, would or would not. Would not. It would probably wow. be the 12 double. 12 double would is okay. like my. Jam. I'm surprised it's not the 17 because I know you had a bit of history with the 17. The 17 is good, but like the 12 double would is it doesn't. Yeah everything i need a whiskey to do. i know for me like it just the flavors there and the fact that like this was i think one of my first like big big quote-unquote bottles right too so yeah um i just enjoy it like when i have bad days or good days it's something that i enjoy and i'm glad that the taste is consistent that i don't matter i don't mind not buying an extra bottle right off the bat and waiting so yeah oh yeah james um be safe in texas bro Scary times. I didn't even know there were four variants. Of what? Uh, of, of, I'm assuming he's saying four variants of COVID. Of COVID? I thought there were just two. Um, UK, regular strain, you got the South African, and then don't you have like a Latin American one? I don't know. I hadn't heard of any other ones. Yeah. Uh, but I really don't watch the news either, so that doesn't help. But also, my sanity is better, so that helps a lot. Yeah, I, I like watching news. I like to know what's going around. I'd rather not. Especially I'd a lot of this Asian years. hate right now, which is kind of sad, too. So. so that's weird, and I don't even watch the news, and I've heard about that. That's bad. Yeah. All right. Um, What's up for you next? I got one more bottle left. Oh, I have, like, 15. Man, all right. You can just roll through a bunch, and then... I'll, I'll do my last one, then you can roll through. How about that? Oh, that? Okay. Yeah, the um, last one on my list is the Yamazaki 12, which is another one that I'm glad that I have a backup bottle Yeah, what? Uh, I'm... Ex- I'm glad that I have it because I know it's not going to be on the shelves until next couple of years. So it's just light bubblegum and flowers, dude. <laughs> dude, it's like having this bottle here allows me to teach people about Japanese whiskey. Like I'm glad that I have it in my collection. You know I'm what's funny? I so I found a birthday bourbon at Costco for 65 bucks, bought it, traded it for Yamazaki 12. I obviously made a mistake. Mm-hmm. And then I gave the Yamazaki 12 away to a friend who loves Japanese whiskey. So basically you just gave away a, um, what do you call it? Birthday a bourbon. birthday bourbon. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, and this one away. here um, is the Japanese release. So people say it's a little bit sweeter, but I can't tell the difference. But um, no, it was given to me by uh, 
a very nice friend and um it's something that i can be like hey yamazaki 12 i got a hagushu 12 in the back there these make up and the cheetah make up a blend of hibiki which is kind of a good way to teach things in deconstruction so yeah so, i mean yeah because it, it gives people an idea of where some of those flavors are coming from for sure and a lot of people don't even know that hibiki is a blend yeah which is kind of hilarious in its own way but yeah all right let you run down through all the things that you have my friend all right because i have like a billion so yeah Right. Delmarva, you're right about that. It's yep. I have a story for like all the whiskeys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um all right, so uh very recently, Rare Perfection fourteen, bought it, loved it so much, went back to the store. I even helped a guy find it because he was looking for it. Okay. And then he didn't go buy it. He messaged me and said he was going somewhere else to buy it. And so I went and bought the second one there because it I love it. Um Brooklady single barrels between Dramful, Friends of Brooklady and a couple other ones. I can't stop buying theirs, and I know now to buy two when I buy. Don't ever just buy. Yeah, it one. is crazy how like you've had times where you're just like, I wish I bought two right off the bat, and you're like, dude, just buy it. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I just now it's a default. Now, um, for some things, so like uh, Balcones Brugera, Brugeria, um, I had one. I just recently bought a second one. Thank you, Daniel, who's helping me out get to source that. So I got a second one of those coming. Abelara Bunad, obviously on two of those. Abenara Bunad Alba, obviously on the third one of those. I have a yeah, problem. no. And have you had the second batch yet? Because I know it's different. I know yes, Christian, I have you can some of the second batch. Second batch is good too, but good in a different way. It's very different, more yeah. pair forward. And that's why I thought it was funny how, like, when he told me, like, his description was different from mine. I'm like, this is weird, but hey, this is my yeah. honest opinion. And then it was batch variances. Batches. Yeah. Uh, Highland Park full volume. Obviously, everybody's heard me talk about pineapples. I'm glad I bought yeah, three how, of those. How many you have left? You got, you got a couple left? I have, I have one left. <laughs> I wonder if you still have my estate. I'm afraid That's to kill a it. bottle that I almost picked up today. I'm afraid to kill it. Um, Highland Park 30. Obviously, I'm on the second bottle because have you have you tried it? Do they have um, a higher actually, expressions of 30? No. Past so, 30? yeah, they've got the 40, which we had the 40 in Scotland. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, we did have that. The one with the silver. What are you talking bottle? about? It was right. so good. Are you going to get that? They have, a 50, they have a 52. What, the 40? Yeah. Am I going to spend $4,000 and go buy I a bet you someone will be able to help you get it lower than that. If you're here in the chat and you can help Wally out get it cheaper. Maybe, stop it. Maybe will. someday in the future. Not anytime soon. For your birthday. Board, I'll fly Maybe. there. For I already have my birthday whiskey this year, which is on sale at Costco right now. For, or uh, on sale at uh, Total Wine for 6 k They want way See, and much. you won't even get a Highland Park 40, man. Come on. I Because I got it for 3200 remember. Well, you can probably Deals. get cheaper. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brooklyn Distilling Wheat. Brooklyn, that's what got me into Brooklyn Distilling in the first place. And I okay. just kept buying their weeded bottles. It didn't matter if it was 200 days or 400 days. Or now they have a multi-year one. And, like, I need to talk to Brad about getting a bottle of that. So I know it's going to be good. He's even thinking about doing a cast drink really Dude, soon. Dude, tell him it's your birthday and be like, hey, I want to represent. No I've, been, no, I've been talking to him about doing, like, cast drink. And he finally is like, all right, I think I'm going to do either a cast drink or bottle and bond for the weeder. And I was like, listen oh, to me. Oh, yeah, that the bottle that you bond. told me. And I put yes, bottle and bond. I was like, just do the cast drink and let people. He's like, but it's so much more work for people to water it down. I'm like, listen to me. Just do it. Yeah. The people so that are buying it are not watering it down or they're going to water it down after they sit for the first well, time. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I probably won't. Um, Johnny Walker Black 2049, obviously what I posted today. Because if yeah. you've never tried. So of all the Johnny Walkers, people are always like, oh, my favorite's green, which I don't understand. I bought the green 15. It's okay. I think you like just a flavor of malt. When when did you buy the green? That's a problem. Like when do you buy the green? When do you buy the gold? When do you buy the red? Four years ago. Yeah. So like I think it's pre 2010. 40 years ago. <laughs> pre 2010 is kind of where like I think the pinnacle flavor of Johnny Walkers in general are. Oh, because the green now is not. No. But the Johnny Walker Black 2049 at 49% is baller. I think um, it's just a higher just, percentage. Just, That's why. Yeah, but it carries so much more fruit flavor. Like people never know. I can give somebody a glass of that and they're blown away. Yeah, they so, wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, think it's a blend. Pappy Van Winkle 23, obviously on my second bottle because um, I'm going to kill it, and I don't want to kill it soon. But yeah, um, we just actually we just did a review where we ended up breaking out the Pappy Van Winkle 23 because something else that's out there smells just like it. So uh, so they've got the smell, but I haven't got the – I mean, the, it's I, it's not there on the flavor, but the nose is identical. Like, what if you put the two glasses down, you wouldn't know the difference. Mouthfeel's not even close. It's not like the velvet at all. And I think that's that like – I didn't, no, you didn't give me the 23. You gave me the 20? No, it's 23 or 15. Those are the only two I've had. So you gave me the 15 then? Oh, 15's hot. 15's like which 23 you, nose, but hotter. Or did you give me the 23? I probably gave you 23, yeah, which was, is like and velvet that, and yeah, that mouth vanilla feel. bomb. Yeah, that yeah, mouth, mouth feel is incredible. It's something else. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, Spring Bank Local Barley 10. Obviously, I bought one of those. And then um, actually a guy from Facebook and on Instagram was helping me find lots of them. So I, I have all that I need now. <laughs> um, 
uh, Glymphitic 30. Uh, funny story, Glymphitic 30. Bought one. Bought a second one. And uh, I know somebody having their 30th birthday this year who's getting into Scotch whiskey. And I, I gave them a bottle. Um, Look how nice Wally is. My birthday's coming up, man. Uh, you know, if you want to get me a, a uh, 35 year Livet, bottle. So the only Glenlivet on my list, Glenlivet Nijura 16, I have three of them, and they are. It's the best. They made of a 16? Glenlivet. Yes, Glenlivet Nijura 16. Yes. I know they have a Nijura. They, they had an age cast strength Glenlivet, and it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know they had an age cast strength. I know they had regular cast strength. Yeah, they're the older ones. They did batches for those, too. Um, I've got two of one batch and one of the other. Uh, Babelard 1990. Obviously, I've got half a bottle left before I kill that. Oh, wait. Belmine do you have shake. any backups? No. I, I had two, and I had three, and now I'm on half. I gotta look. I gotta look, because I'm, I'm nursing that one. Yeah. Um, Belmead Cherry Cask. I'm on my second. It's super good. Whiskey Edge. My 40th is this year, so that's why number six. Oh, damn, both you guys? Yeah. Uh, Michter Sour Mash, which I almost bought like three more. Three more. If I hadn't bought five bottles... This weekend, looking for something else, yeah. I would have bought all of the Michter Sour Mash that's sitting on the shelf in the store. But I was like, I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. But if I go back and it's there, I'm just buying the shelf out. Okay. Because there's, there's there's no reason not to. Um. Yeah. So that's it. That's my whole list. The other the last one was a rum, but I didn't want to throw that in there because I didn't want. I'll toss to be it like, in there. Maybe someone's interested in buying some rum. Toss them in. Uh, Navazos Palazzi, gas <laughs> strength cherry gas rum. It's phenomenal. But it's on another level for rum, and it's uh, expensive, like one twenty-five a bottle, which doesn't sound too crazy, especially some of these rums that I purchased. But it's actually pretty pretty pricey for a rum when you're looking for it. Sorry, for my friends, they only have Bow Blair nineteen eighty-three. It was probably sixteen then. Um, Del Marva whiskey, four rows is the opposite of a lot of brands come better over time. Uh, I have a review coming out for you, and when you see it, you're gonna be like, oh, and I'm. I actually don't like. Four is it roses. this week or is it? No, no, no. It's coming up in, in the next couple of months. But gotcha, like the gotcha. four roses, I have a four roses single barrel that has like a metallic aftertaste, so that's turned me off to four roses completely. And recently, I got to try it uh, pretty blind, mm -hmm. and it doesn't it doesn't uh, turn out well. That's not good. <laughs> but hey, man, it is what it is, right? Like you know, different strokes, different folks. Like I am, I yeah, do enjoy the um, the four roses small batch. I think it is the small batch. I okay, like the yeah. sweetness of it, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's legit. I do wish that um, I knew about the 16-year-old Nadura, because I do like the Oloroso Nadura. I didn't know there was a H. <laughs> I think mine is OES. It's OESK or OBSK, something like that. It's not good. Yeah, there's it's a big there's a big uh, bourbon circle to figure out like what um mash no you just have to, yeah you have like 16 combos or whatever right like oh no but i'm just saying like there's some people combos. that are just like really big on like i need it to be this oh, one. Collect, collecting them all not collecting yeah. them all just like picking certain ones oh, so it's a 14 year old cherry cask that i've uh, been glenn live 14 sherry oh, okay i'm curious i'll click this link it's probably it's malware but i don't mind i can't click it because i don't know what i don't want stuff to pop out on my i screen. got two windows up Gotcha. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Is this a single cask? Looks like a single cask. Yeah, Ben, that's a single cask when live it. That's not the same. Also, do they ship? Not bad. <laughs> do they ship to Wally? Do they? <laughs> I'm looking right now. DM or <laughs> Zoom. Uh, Get you guys. Shipping rates. Do you ship to my state? Yeah, I bet you they do. But yeah, guys, um, that's what we have on our list. I uh, just wanted to share you guys some bottles that we actually, you know, double down on. Uh, bottles that we actually keep, not collect, but more on like keep because we drink it. Uh, as you notice, most of these bottles here, Wally and I, you know, drank through a bottle already. That's why we have a second one or we're going through one and we need another one. So, Bro, Ben, this is the shadiest website ever. Do you ship to my state? Like, just place your order and we'll contact you if there's any issues with your order. <laughs> well, you said I'm good. I'm I'm good. Dang though, I've I I don't think I've I've seen them in Scotland at Glenlivet, but I don't think I've, I've never ever seen, seen them on. Show. I've never seen a single barrels just like chilling on someone's website. High times they do is they in, do special is in uh, California. I'm not. <laughs> that's a heck of a drive. I uh I've just seen like they do like the special um cellar editions that look like this. They do single cask editions that look like this. I've just never seen them here like stateside. One out of five forty-six, though. Oof. 
But yeah, no, this, this is legit too. Like, I know high times. Big like, they're down where I used to live in California. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, um, to be honest, like, as you mentioned before, like, I'm excited to do another trip soon. Hopefully next year or next next year, be able to do these hand fill bottles. <laughs> maybe doubling up on some of these, so. My bad, Ben. They probably, that's probably their, they probably bought that single barrel then. Mm, most likely. They're, that's, that's all. They they very, do have a lot of bottles there. Uh, they're very knowledgeable people, knowledgeable staff as well. So I mean, five hundred and forty bottles is very little evaporation for the size of a butt. I'm surprised. Could be in a lower dunnage or something. Hmm. No, we can't Maybe. drink then. I'm surprised. But uh, yeah, no. Um, what else? What else do we want to talk about real quick before we have to? Uh... That was it for today. Holy crap, we ran over. Yeah, we did. That was it for today. But no, it was, I, I think it was great. Um, I'm glad we were able to talk about this. Um, sadly, Bianca was not here today to talk about her bottles. But um, a lot of things we have here is like we recommend – I think most of us recommend the bottles that we mentioned on our own. Like I don't think there's a bottle we mentioned that I'm not always hyped on. <laughs> you were a bit weird on the Yamazaki 12. But, um... It's just to me the Yamazaki 12 is boring. Like it's – it's you get what you get. It's, it's boring because you've had different things. Like if no one's had anything Japanese-y – ja no yamazaki 12 was my third bottle i ever purchased for 60 bucks on the shelf at total wine yeah i wouldn't pay i wouldn't pay prices nowadays it just yeah like i wouldn't pay 120 for it 60 like, i'm bucks, even getting yeah. green fruit on this one now. like if you pay 50 for bren you'll pay 60 for that because it's the same thing just done in a japanese style with yeah. a little more floral and not just bubble gum or not just well fake bananas but bought my four thousand order so i sent her an id jira 2900 wow no uh wow bianca what calling you out she doesn't even know that's legit the yama 12 is the balvenny 12 no no balvenny 12 is more interesting the yama 12 is the oh that's mean the yama 12 <laughs> the, the yama would... 12 is the glenn livid 12 i want to say glenn i would say glenfiddich no it's the no no heck no yeah. glenfiddich's got a lot more flavor especially uh, the new one oh yeah it's the fanboy but okay oh she knows <laughs> give me a break glenfiddich, how much oh, you paying uh, this guy Oh, I was asking Tracy. Um, oh. She works for Uncle Nearest, the charity, not the company. Gotcha. And so she's um, working at Sagamore. So that explains oh. it. Yeah, I just talked to her today. today. But yeah, guys, on, on that note, we're going to continue the show. But uh, thank you so much uh, for tuning in with us uh, for our live recording on YouTube. And on this show, my friend. Ooh, hold on. Delmarva said Irish whiskey coming up, but here's the thing. No. So that's that. <laughs> in general, or I might have something for Delmar in a bit. But on this show, we say. Oh, okay, Christian. Deuces. Is that what we say? Okay, Christian. Deuces. Oh, is it time we say okay, Christian? We say deuces. deuces. <laughs>